I like to think of myself as a nice guy. I don't like to judge things or people too harshly. But one thing I will forever judge as harshly as I possibly can is modern art. Because when I wake up in the morning and I see stuff like this on my feed, What am I supposed to think? I see stuff like this and then everyone's like, this is so profound. They just look like bugs that have been squished up against a windshield to me. I don't know what else I'm supposed to be seeing here. Gotta be students doing this, right? They're probably like university performance art people. And like, I have no doubt this got like A stars across the board. The more I don't get it, the higher the grade these people probably got. See, sometimes I sit down and just think about my career choices. I think about whether I should have gone to uni and done all that stuff that of doing what I'm doing now. But I'll be damned if in five years I'm sat at a job interview and they say, sorry, we're not going to go with you because this person right here spent three hours in a vacuum sealed sheet and you didn't, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. And that's it. That's all they did. I'm actually shocked that many people turn up, you know? I'm surprised it's not just like friends and family there to make sure you don't suffocate to death. Of all the things you could follow in this age of information, you're like, you know what? F*** that. I want to watch people get vacuum sealed and they just wriggle around a little bit because I'm intelligent. Not like you you little twiddle f***s are like watching La Pookie Bear dunk the ball. I don't know. That's just the vibes that this stuff gives off pretentious justified or not that's what it gives anyway that's not even close to being my favorite one i think far and away my favorite modern art exhibit has got to be man rubs face on rotating mud wall <laughs> if this did flop, which by the look of it, it didn't. Big turnout here for the rotating mud wall. At least he got the best skincare he's ever gonna get. Pretty incredible. I thought we moved past blackface, but when the brush is rotating, suddenly it's okay. That's all I'm saying. That's all. <coughs> to be fair, we've all wanted to do that. We've all looked at the butter in our fridge and thought, what would happen if I got a big fuck off stick and a big big lump of that and just started smacking it. That's artistic, that. Someone's got to do that. Yeah, when I saw that one, I was actually uh, quite devastated. I couldn't believe they, uh, they thought of that as well. I guess I'm just a genius. The doctor says I'm on the spectrum, but clearly great minds think alike. Dude, I don't fucking believe this. This guy had one job, pour the dirt on her head, which I think is actually quite symbolic for sexism. If I'm honest, I think that's a terrible exhibit. Awful, even. But anyway, he had one fucking job, pour the dirt on her head, and he fucked it up. He missed. F minus. This is why mud spinning wool was such a revolutionary idea. The mud gets all up on you. You ain't got to worry about missing. It's just a big fucking mud wall. How genius is that? Do you get it yet? Bro just got f***ing angry, started ripping up the paper and shit. I just don't get it. I just really don't get it. Like, I did this shit when I was two years old. This was my hobby. I'm something of a professional in just making a big fucking mess. Which, shockingly enough, isn't too hard. And the fact that you've just put a f***ing rock on the canvas is not game-changing. I'm not gonna lie. Can someone please explain the elaborate metaphor and symbolism that, that this possessed? Because I'm not getting it. Does he have a deep hatred for rocks? When he was four years old, did he get hit by a big rock and now he's angry so he's making it black I, I don't get it these people are just toddlers on a bigger scale you know they've gotten bigger and the area they have to make a big fucking mess has just increased tenfold go on the stairs go on the stairs <laughs> Who had to clean that up to? They better have had to clean that up. They've got the two pound an hour janitor on shift that evening. And they're like, yeah, go ahead, clean that shit up. I will be dropping bombs. Okay, lots of buckets, red buckets, awesome. I love missing buckets. Incredible, what's happening here? He's done it again. He's done it again. I don't believe it. See, the problem with this stuff, at least for me, as someone who clearly doesn't get it because I'm not reading between the lines, is that you could give these abstract bullshit meanings to, like, anything. You know, it's like when you're in English class and the teacher's bumming off Shakespeare because he said roses are red and she was like, did you get that? That meant that the roses were red and it's also a double, triple synonym metaphor for the fact that Juliet was a whore. It's the same exact shit. They just look 
old man knocked over bucket. This is rarely deep. I don't know. I think the art is too abstract to be like this communal, like widespread thing. To the person that made this, this might have had great meaning. But if you're stood in the crowd, there's no way you could comprehend or understand what he was trying to convey through the fucking buckets falling over. So these people stood there like, yeah, that was really fucking cool and clapping. You're just an NPC. I'm sorry. There's no way around it. You're just a fucking NPC. <laughs> Goodbye.